It's on a five nanometer process. There are four families of uh, accelerators that uh, Mobili has designed over, over many, many years. There are 64 accelerator cores in this, uh, in this chip, divided into two, uh, in, into two parts of uh, 32, such that we can provide with a external MCU and ACLD uh, system. There is a GPU and ISP for, uh, for visualization. Power Sorry, consumption everyone, my is very, internet very light is way below working. 100 uh, watts. It's 176 uh, uh, tops. And it's important to, to mention that tops is not, it's not everything is about tops. The fact that we have a very, very diverse set of uh, cores allows us to be very, very efficient. Take, for example, the two, uh, the clips that I've shown you with, uh, with our two IQ5 uh, system. Two IQ5 is only 30 tops, and we can do an end-to-end you know, perception, driving policy, and, uh, and control. IQ Ultra will have also 12 uh, uh, RISC V uh, cores, each is a 20, 24 uh, threads. So it's a very, very powerful chip. We'll be able to provide the full electronics of an autonomous car in a 2025 uh, time frame, way below $1,000. Not the chip, the full electronics, the full, uh, the full ECU. And this is you know, propelling us to a 2025 time frame of a consumer, consumer AV, which I think is going to be a very, very exciting uh, milestone. So there are many, many, many more details to talk about, many more things to, uh, to show. I'll do that uh, tomorrow with the Under the Hood uh, session, an hour long Under, under the Hood uh, session. So thank you and uh, back to you, uh, GB. Thanks, Amnon. Today we gave you just a glimpse of the advancements we're delivering from the client to the edge. And we'll continue to harness the superpowers and drive this accelerated pace of innovation to deliver world-changing technology throughout 2022 and beyond. And now for the final announcement of the day, I'm excited to share that Intel will host our second Intel on event called Intel Vision on May 10th and 11th. Alongside our customers and partners, we'll showcase how companies are leveraging Intel technology to help solve some of the world's most pressing business challenges. We can't wait to see you there. And with that, thank you, stay safe, and let's make 2022 a great one. Sorry, I muted it, forgot. Um, sorry about that. But wow, talk about a big nothing. Um, wow. I don't even know what to say. Um, and then the mic thing threw me off. But yeah, what I was saying was, um, I do apologize. The internet just randomly went out. So I completely lost the feed, lost the stream and everything. Sorry about that. But... Um, I don't even know what to say. I mean, that was bad. At least NVIDIA announced the um, 3090 Ti and 3050. I mean, this. I and mean, yeah, they announced some mobile chips and a KS series, but they didn't really tell us anything, which that's somewhat normal. What will happen is they'll um, give that to the press, like the actual specs and things like that. But still, that was bad. I mean, that's it. And then they said, oh, we'll also be doing something else on, on in May. But the May event does have to do with businesses and stuff. But, I mean, they gave us nothing. Uh, this is technically um, like the beginning of CES. It's kind of weird. Technically, this isn't even, I mean, I guess they do call it CES, but like, a lot of times it's sort of like a separate thing. The companies, the bigger companies kind of do their own thing, but it's right around the time of CES because of that. And they call it CES, but basically what I'm trying to say is this is their like main event, but sometimes they will do other stuff at CES. Although from what I heard, Intel is not having a real physical presence there. So I don't know, and why in the world they wouldn't have um, 
announce this at the actual like main thing rather than just speaking, you know, with some press and sharing it there would that'd be really weird for them to do, especially something this big. So I don't know. They specifically said that it was coming in Q1 of 2022. Is this another 10 nanometer thing? It's coming, it's coming, but not really. I don't think so because, I mean, they did at least mention that ARC is um, out there. Uh, that, I guess, is the one thing that they did say is that, well, first, ARC is coming to notebooks and the discrete cards are coming, are um, are currently like in the hands of partners uh, and stuff like that. But yeah, they gave us nothing. So I don't really know what to say. I'm pretty surprised. Uh, like I said, it was supposed to be a Q1 launch, supposed to come in Q1. I guess they're just going to have another event, but I think we were really expecting it to be here. Um, so yeah. That does it. I don't know if I'm going to do a video on this. There's not really that much. I will do a video for sure if there's some, you know, something that is actually given to the press. Um, but either way, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm really disappointed. I know a lot of you are as well. And I do apologize. I They, they did say that they are going to be, you know, that they are giving them out. Um, so, I mean, the GPUs are out there. I don't think it's going to, I don't, I don't think this is going to be another 10 nanometers where it's coming, it's coming and it just never does. Um, and they have said Q1, hopefully it's not postponed. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah, I mean, someone said it's probably delayed. I really hope not. We did hear a rumor that it was going to be delayed till March. Um, but I mean, that's it. And you would think even if it was coming in March, they would at least announce it. I mean, when they said at the end that it was a tease, they were not kidding, but either way, I, I do hope you liked the video. Um, stream was pretty sad, but, um, yeah, that pretty much does it. You're going to see me here for like a few seconds, like stay on uh, just because it's a few seconds off. So anyway, I do hope everyone has a great day and yeah, at least AMD gave us something.